Hi, my name is Richard T. Morris. You might know my character Moose, the astronaut with big dreams from This is a Moose, or Sheep 101, who got stuck in the fence trying to get a little boy to sleep. Or maybe the tiger from Fear the Bunny, who's maybe not that scary after all. Today I want to talk about Bear from my book, Bear Came Along. Bear is a curious, big-hearted fellow who suddenly finds himself on a wild adventure with some strange animals that he's never met before. Tell us about your character. You see, the story starts with a log floating down the river. Bear, being ever so curious, swims out to the log, climbs aboard. Now that river is moving, and before he knows it, he's drifting pretty fast down the river. Where is the river going? Bear doesn't know. And he's floating down the river. All these different animals suddenly join him on the log. First, it's a frog, then a bunch of raccoons, a beaver, some turtles, and then a duck. Bear is delighted to share this log with all of his new friends he's never met before. So many different types of animals, all with very different personalities, on this log sharing this adventure together. And to think that it all started with a curious bear. He might have missed out on all this adventure if he hadn't jumped in the river and been brave enough to get onto that log. Taking that leap is never easy, as we all know. How did you come up with this character? I remember the first time I was sent to overnight camp. I was 11 years old and I had to go away for 10 whole weeks. That's almost all summer. I didn't want to go and I was so homesick that I couldn't eat for the first few days when I got there. Of course, the friend I was with, he couldn't have been more excited. He knew everyone at the camp by the end of the first day. But you know what? That camp was the best experience of my life. One of the greatest adventures I ever had. I made new friends, learned how to build a wooden canoe, and discovered a new favorite food, pizza. So you see, I was always curious like Bear, but a little afraid to get on that log. And that's why I love Bear so much, because he's open to the journey and happy to have everyone along come aboard, even when they're headed for a gigantic waterfall. Uh-oh, how does it all end for Bear and his new friends? Well, I guess you'll just have to read it to find out. If you found a whale in your bathtub, what would you do? Well, first I would introduce myself. I know that whales are very polite and I would not want to be rude. Then I would ask him if the water was too hot. You see, if the water was too hot, he might get out of that tub and then we'd have a really big problem. I'd offer him some bubble bath because I'm pretty sure a whale has never taken a bubble bath before. I'd hum some songs to him because I know whales love music. And then when he was asleep, I would tiptoe out of the bathroom and go find a shower. 